guys, Eric with Ferris Engineering here, and today we're going to be going over a GT4 rear wing install, which utilizes our universal 300 millimeter cord rear wing. First, we're going to go through all the parts that you see in front of me, which are all parts of the kit, and then we're going to go over the tools you'll need, and then we'll start the install. In front of me, you see the kit in its entirety. Let's start going through the parts. These are billet 6061 uprights that will bolt to the factory locations. These are turned Delrin pieces that will go on the OEM locations for the rubber stops which improve the load transfer to the chassis. We have 6061 build aluminum beauty plates, double sided tape for the gurney, the 300 millimeter rear wing which is already assembled with the billet aluminum mounts. We have two hood uh, struts which allow the, the the rear hatch to still open with the added weight that this kit does include or does create. We have a wicker, or sorry, we have a gurney flap. These are the end plate washers with the hardware. These are double sided tape pieces that you will need to use throughout the install. We have both sides of the end plates and the hardware for the rear wing. As far as what tools we will need for the install, we'll need a bubble level, scissors, 5 16 12 point socket, 5 16 6 point socket, assorted Torx, I believe we only use T30, plastic scraper or door, door panel popper, whatever you'd like to call it, a small uh, flathead, 4 millimeter Allen wrench, 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, alcohol, pliers, and again, assorted Torx bits, and this is a driver for, for uh, these. All right, we're gonna start by removing the rear wing, and to do so, we're gonna loosen the bolts. There should be four on each upright. Uh, on this car, it is a T30 Torx on this side and a four millimeter Allen wrench on this side. So we're gonna do that real quick and remove the OEM wing. rear wing off we are now going to remove this beauty plate right here which goes around to do so you're going to want to put painters tape around to protect the paint and then we're going to use a, a little plastic scraper or a pull tool to remove that beauty plate now I've already removed it so you're not going to see me struggle with it too much but it's going to take a lot of force to remove this from the car what I found the best was to try and grab this guy under there as best you can and then use the leverage and pull up and basically this will come off so that we can remove the uprights. Alright, for the next part we're going to have to pop the, the trunk and remove this little panel here which is right here. So I've already removed it, I haven't reinstalled it because I don't want to waste the double sided tape but basically it's going to look like this. And this piece will pop off of this piece and you'll be left with that. So first remove this, simple pull it, pulling it off, uh, panel popper works again. And then this will need removed, which has double sided backing like shown and it will be a pain in the butt to remove again. Since you won't see me struggle with the beauty plate double sided tape, you can watch me struggle with this. Whatever double sided tape Porsche uses is very good. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to get this off. I'm going to get most of it off on this side. We got all of it off on this side because it's, uh, it's weather, it needs to be weather tight. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Alright, so after spending a while cleaning off the double sided tape, we're now going to remove these three torque bolts. They are T30s, and then the upright will come out of the trunk. We have the OEM upright right here, and then we have our upright right here. This O-ring or gasket, whatever you'd like to call it, needs to come off the OEM piece and go on to our upright before it gets installed. Just like that. 
Okay, now that we have our upright ready to install with the gasket on it, we basically install it using the three OEM bolts. All right, so if you decide you would like to run our hood struts, which allowed the, the, the trunk to basically open without helping it the whole way, um, we will, we will do that real quick. Now, in full disclosure, our hood struts do reduce the height by about six inches or so as far as how much it opens, but it will open easier. So it's up to you if you would rather use the OEM one or the ones that we provide, but um, I'll show you how to change them real quick. Basically, we're gonna grab these little, I don't know what you'd like to call them, clips with a small screwdriver and pop those out. Once you get those out, this will actually pop off, like so. And you do the same on the bottom, and it will come off. And we'll replace the, them with the, the slightly higher rated ones. To install the units that we provide, this is the locking mechanism. It's on the tip. You basically rotate it halfway out, and the pin will actually come out completely, like so. Um, We'll get to installing these real quick. And the new hood strut is installed. Coming back over to our workbench, we grab our beauty plate and the double-sided tape, and we will install that real quick. And prior to installing the double-sided tape, we did wash it with a 50-50 mixture of alcohol and water to ensure proper adhesion. It's also 70 degrees in the shop and low humidity, which improves adhesion as well. All things that you need to keep in mind when doing this install for proper double-sided tape ad adhesion. Now that we have our beauty plate ready to install, we're gonna peel off this red tab. and install it on the upright. Now it's going to be a tight fit, but with a little wiggling, it will go on. Like so, and then as you get down to the paint, basically firmly press it in place. and attempt to get the double-sided tape to adhere to the paint surface. And, and again, we clean the paint with a 50-50 alcohol mix prior to this install to ensure proper adhesion. And like so, the beauty plate is installed. Now that we have both uprights installed and beauty plates installed, we're gonna grab the wing and install that on par. Uh, it's definitely helpful if you have a friend, so uh, I have Jose, but if you have another friend or if you can do it by yourself, go for it. But here we go. All right, so we are now going to get the end plates to go on the wing ready. Basically, we have to assemble, assemble. the. Uh, the washers that hold the end plates on. So basically there's these O-rings and they go in this groove to ensure that you don't damage the carbon. I've found that if you dip it in a little bit of water, it tends to stick in there a little bit better during install. So basically that's what we're gonna do with all four of these real quick. And then we're gonna install them on the wing and I will show you how to level the end plate to ensure that it's uh, functioning properly and improving the performance of the rear wing. All right, so we have the washers, two bolts, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, and the end plate. Basically goes like so. Grab the end plate through the hole, 
and into the wing. We're gonna get it pretty close and snug, like so. And do the other washer. Leveling the end plate is easy. We designed it so that the front edge just needs to be level at whatever angle of attack you're running your wing at. So basically, place that on, move the end plate till the bubble is in the center, and lock it down. It does not need to be torqued heavily, just snug, and you'll be good to go. We're going to install the gurney flap real quick. To do so, you want to clean this trailing edge, dip, dip down with alcohol, uh, as well as the gurney flap, which, which I'll do off of the screen, but we'll do that this real quick. With the trailing edge cleaned with alcohol, we're going to install the double-sided tape. And to the best of our ability, we're going to try and follow this, this trailing edge with the edge of the tape as well for a nice clean look. Extra, cut it now the gurney flap will be ready to install so we're going to pull off the red side of the double sided tape and then install the gurney flap real quick. Again try to do your best to install the trailing edge at the very edge of the wing. And then work it into the double sided tape, squeezing firmly, trying to get as much surface area between the wing, double sided tape, and the gurney flap possible so it stays on so we're going to open the trunk again and change out the OEM rubber bushings for hard Delrin so these are the OEM unit right here in my hand the Delrin unit is installed it's a simple unscrew and screw back in this basically will have to be unscrewed or screwed in to touch the, the chassis and it helps transfer the load of the rear wing into the chassis instead of deforming the rubber, which you can see and maybe it does not deform. All right, next up on the install is going to be installing these little covers for the bolts. Uh, basically remove the adhesion from the other side, install the double-sided tape, and then as we get ready to install, ensure that it goes on correctly, basically that's what you're looking for. And we will basically pull off the, the red tab again and install this piece. like so, and then grabbing your cover for the cover, you install that as well. There you go.